Hello and welcome to Stories. Stories is all about sharing successful stories of people around the world and today I have Ms. Charul live from Dubai. Ms. Charul, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Jason. Uh, it's it's an honor and a privilege to be here today. Thank you. Before starting the show, how are you today? Oh, I'm doing good. Uh, it's 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 beautiful weather in Dubai. The summer is still not here. We only have a few weeks left, so making the most of it. Thank you. And you? Yeah, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Uh, before progressing on the interview, we just want to know about your background. What are you currently doing out in Dubai? About my TT group and uh, all the stuff associated with you. Sure, sure, Ab- absolutely. Um, so um, I I started my journey as uh, a corporate HR lady and had a beautiful, beautiful stint. Uh, for over 18 years, wherein I was in regional capacity, global capacity, traveled around the world. I had the opportunity of living and working in the Caribbean, in Canada, in US, in UK, uh, and of course, the Middle East, which is almost uh, my second home now. And uh, it was in 2017 uh, when I was in a very high flying role uh, as a global head of HR for a consulting house, that something within you know me shifted and I wanted to do more purposeful work, which comes right from here, right? Not just from here. And that's when we set up our company called Matiti Group. Uh, Matiti Group was founded with the purpose of enabling organizations to be a better version of themselves. And not just from the perspective of business operation or you know delivery and outcome, but everything which is critical to the operations, which is people. Now we know it's technology. Yeah. Very important sustainability, because that's the way to go. And, uh, you know, about logistics supply chain, because that's where you add value to to your work. And having said that, those are the four verticals of Matiti. So we have Matiti People, which is focused on everything related to talent in an organization. Matiti Tech, which is technology solutions. We have fantastic tools and I can talk till the cows come home. AI blockchain enabled platforms, you know, ensuring organizations are very effective. We have Matiti Green, which is our sustainability arm. And perhaps I'll touch on a very exciting project uh, that we've recently launched a bit later. And we have Activity Network, which is our logistic supply chain. So this is this is how the business has come together. We're very excited with how far we have come. And I know it's a beautiful ride ahead. Yeah, it's sure it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be challenging, in fact. And uh, because especially you are in so much uh, leadership roles and uh, there are a lot of phases out there uh, in challenging situations. Uh, you must be having that passion statement. You must be having that success factor, which would be driving within you, which would be giving you that moral boost to take decisions wisely each day. So what is that success factor? Uh, would you like to share with the audience? Today? Sure. Um, I say it with a lot of, uh, you know, uh, with passion and with a lot of uh, determination, what I'm about to say, because this really has been the cornerstone of my work. And when I navigated from corporate roles to creating my own business, really the purpose was very simple. It was to enable and to empower. And once we do that, it's, it's, it's a fantastic combination. And, and a quote that I coined myself and something that I, I, I practice and I preach as well is all the wisdom, the strength and the guidance that one seeks, it lies within oneself. True. And that is the cornerstone of my work. And really, if we start to connect with our own self in the way we function and what we want to bring to the world, it's all within us. We just have to find it, explore it and express it. Correct. It's all about com- coming outside that comfort zone. It's up- all about that analyzing what you have, the potential within you. You're absolutely spot on. So when we talk about success, we can't ignore those obstacles, those tough times which we had, especially when setting up a business in Dubai, it's not easy. Yeah, and not at all. Yeah, going forward is also not easy with uh, tough times there. So mm-hmm. how do you overcome these obstacles and how did you over- took those tough decisions in the uh, past? Would you like to share with our mm-hmm. audience? Sure, sure. I think one thing uh, that I've learned very early in my life, and it has helped me substantially as a business owner and and as as an influencer for the circle that I influence is, is stop playing the victim. Yeah, life is tough. Life is tough for everyone. And I'm not just referencing to last year when COVID happened, which was a global pandemic. And, you know, you always had that comfort saying, oh, it's not just me. It's happening to everybody. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm talking about every other instance in your life, every other aspect of your life. Um, so 
I, I learned it very early in life that I have to stop playing the victim and I have to take charge of what happens to me and what I choose uh, for it to do to me. Mm. How much do I allow that instance to influence me is very important. If, yeah. if I have evolved to a stage where I do not let the external circumstances influence me so much, that's the end of the story. I've cut that cord already, right? But the point is, um, you know, just know that life will not be the same always. And that's the beauty of being alive, right? Yeah. That's the beauty of knowing that, that you are waking up to another day. So we have, or I have learned to challenge uh, myself, mm -hmm. grab the bull by the horn. If a problem comes, uh, take it as an opportunity. Sometimes it's a bit overwhelming. Let that process flow. Let, let it be overwhelming because then there is something for you to learn from that instance, right? And and most importantly, no matter how hard the situation is, just know there is a solution for you to find. And when you choose that solution, please bear in mind, your decisions will impact, if not just few people around you, which could be your team and employees, your clients, but sometimes your decision have a wider impact. So be conscious of the impact you make, positive or negative. Correct. And if there are not, uh, I mean, in, there are no obstacles in life, we can't grow. And there's uh, no fun. Yeah, there's no fun. And obviously, Matiti will not be born if there was no challenges. And Thank you. Yes, yes. absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I get it. And um, before closing the show, um, three to four advices would you like to share with our audience? Because the younger generation and equally the older generation both are in uh, times of distress now because losing jobs and searching for new jobs, the salary cuts and uh, even uh, COVID uh, health issues. There are a lot of depressions out there. Uh, would you like to yeah. share some three, four advices to be stay motivated for the young audience? Sure. I will, I will choose three, four because I, I have a bucket full and also because I'm, I'm, I'm a passionate content creator, I'm a public speaker, yeah. I, I like to, uh, you know, share, share some, some thoughts that intrigue people. So, you know, for younger generation, one line, which is, you know, future belongs to you, so take charge. Don't yeah. sit and wait, right? It is important that you appreciate or acknowledge your value, your importance in the world you live in. So, you know, don't get overwhelmed, but take charge. Think about it. What is also very important is, like I said before, be purposeful and passionate about the work you do, because then it's, it's a very easy journey. The decisions are easier to make. The challenges are, are the challenges that you chose to overcome, right? Yeah. Um, the other thing that I really, really live by and is very, very important is sustainability is the way to go. There is no other way that we will uh, continue to live on this planet or thrive in our businesses or our lives if we don't learn to work sustainably. And uh, I, I also want to say this, you know, competition is good, but let's be mindful there is enough and more for everyone. So, you know, let's, let's, uh, I will not use the negative words, but let's learn to lift each other up. Let's learn to offer that helping hand. Let's learn to support. Let's learn to share. Let's learn to give back. Mm. And uh, there is enough and more opportunity for each and every one of us, regardless of what career, what profession you choose. So I, I will I will take a pause on that. But these are, are a few things that I would want people to kind of explore and, and uh, contemplate. Yeah, when you were talking about the opportunities, I think uh, in a recent statistics on LinkedIn, uh, there are over 700 million users on LinkedIn, but only 3% are actively posting. So you yeah, have yes. an ocean full of opportunities. You're absolutely spot on on that. And Thank uh, you. Yeah, before closing the show, although International Women's Day has been passed away, but still uh, your message to the women fraternity, the women leaders out there, or people, or the women who are trying to come out of their comfort zone, your message, a short mm -hmm. message. Yeah, um, I would I would welcome them to read my or listen into my video. I have a YouTube channel under the name YouTube handle Matiti People, uh, and there is a video that I've posted. and And really, the key message uh, in my note to uh, beautiful women out there is is to pause, to reflect, to acknowledge and appreciate the journey of becoming who you are. We have become who we have become today because of circumstances, people, everything that you said, Jason, challenges, obstacles, right? Let's let's acknowledge them. Let's appreciate them. And I always use this word. We all have gathered certain scars as we moved along. 
uh, welcome those scars. You know, remember each scar has a beautiful lesson for your lifetime behind it. So, you know, enjoy the journey, take pride in the scars you've gathered and just know that moving forward is the only way. So, so go for it. Perfect. Thanks a lot, Ms. Charul, for joining. Thanks a lot for sharing your innovative strategies and your motivation, your inspiration to our audience. Thanks a lot. God bless your career. God bless your family as well. Keep doing what you're doing. Enjoy it at the maximum. Thank you so much, Justin. It was a pleasure having uh, you know this conversation with you and uh, good luck with uh, the future uh, stories that you will publish. You're doing a good job. So all the best.